Okay, Mr. Lynch. I'm sorry, Mr. Taylor. Oh, um, um, so Sonia Clayton, she's related. She's involved with DFACS. She is the yes. foster parent. Uh, she's the foster parent of Miss Johnson's children. Uh, Miss, I believe Miss Spalding was the DFACS worker. There was an incident, and this is three, roughly three years ago, an incident while Miss. Uh, Johnson was having visitation uh, while Miss uh, uh, Miss Clayton was present. Uh, the children are still residing with Miss Clayton. Is that correct? Uh, she is able to have visitation now. She goes through her mother uh, to arrange the visitation with her children at that time. At this okay, time. let me. Um, the second one, Michael Wilson. Who's Michael Wilson? That's Mr. Johnson, uh, Miss Johnson's father. Uh, and there was a verbal altercation between the two. Uh, I think if uh, this is a scenario or a situation where, yes, Miss Johnson sprayed pepper spray. She had reason to spray the pepper spray because it was an altercation uh, with her father being uh, aggressive uh, towards her. Uh, she left the scene. Uh, so the only, uh, the only information that the officers were able to receive uh, were from her father. And there's no, we're not disputing that uh, she sprayed the pepper spray. Uh, that's why we're entering our plea today. But the situation is not where Miss Johnson was the actual aggressor in the situation. Miss Johnson, come forward, talk to me. Let's see what's going on. At Mr. Taylor, is there a mental health issue that I should be aware of? I don't believe so, Your Honor. I've been speaking with Miss Johnson, and she's perfectly. Uh, hey, Deputy Woods. Hi. Okay, uh, go ahead. And uh, and very articulate. All right, Miss Johnson. Okay, let's talk first about what's going on. Why why do, are your children not with you? Okay, yes, ma'am. I need to find housing. At the time, I had just had my seventh child, and my rental lease was up, and so I have to find a new place for them. Your seventh child? Yes, ma'am. At the same time of my moving off of my rental lease. And so I just have to find a housing for them. Are you on a defects reunification plan? I was, but due to the shutdown, it's been a, uh, the department has been closed. So I've been trying to find someone to speak with about. No, ma'am. Defects never closed. I used to work for defects. So I'm clear on how this works. So Plan. No, the reunification plan is something that you come up with the social worker um, and the and defects manager um, at the division that handles your children. That they. Fine with that. I mean, everything's, huh? everything's okay. I, I I visit with them once a week. Everything's okay. Okay, so no, that's not okay. You don't have your children. They're in foster care. I'm trying to figure out how we get you back to a roll call straight as it were. Then now who were you, who are you living with? I'm living with my mom right now. Okay, but your mom is not the person who has the children. No. And how old is your oldest child? She's 10. You have seven children, 10 and under? Yes, ma'am. Are there multiples? They're all a year apart. Is there a father involved? No, ma'am. How old are you, ma'am? I'm 34. You're 34? Yes. And you that, that presumably means you're still fertile. Uh, it, can we avoid having any more children until we can get our life straight? That's my life. It's, it's, it's good. I can't hear you. My life is good. It's just, it's, it's just with the timing with my um. Miss Johnson, Miss Johnson, what you're not gonna do is lie to me, because you got two cases pending before me, and the the one is a 2024 that happened in November. So no, ma'am, you're in a green jumpsuit. Your life is not good. Your children are with somebody else in foster care. Your life is not good. So let's not gloss over what's going on. Are we sure there's no mental health issues, Mr. Taylor? I 
I can't speak absolutely to that. I've just met Ms. Johnson, as I uh, told the court earlier. Uh, she's very articulate and seems to be functioning well. Uh, I don't know outside the courtroom if there's any uh, any other issues that aren't. Ms. Johnson, my, my, my fear is for the children at this point. The last thing I want is for you to have more babies for somebody else to take care of. Are we clear? Are we clear? Because yes. that's not fair. If you have the babies, but then they go to somebody else for them, them to take care of, you're just having babies, but you're making, you, you, your kids don't have you as the mother in their life. You see them once a week. And number two, you're making a, a hardship for somebody else to try and keep seven kids. And number three, if you have siblings, they should be raised together. But if you got seven kids, it is hard to keep seven kids together. Imagine what your 10 year old must be thinking, like I'm in foster care. I got all these siblings. I'm the oldest one. I don't have my mama. She sees me once a week, if possible. But you've been in jail, so you haven't seen them since you've been in here. Miss Johnson. Do you have any the, the what? Uh, she asked if there's any resources available if the court to provide. Ooh, Miss Johnson, I, wi I, I wish I knew. Okay. I do know that condoms are cheaper than child support or child care, and you don't have to keep having babies. Let's start there. Can, can we start there? Yes. Can we commit to not having more babies right now? Mm -hmm. Yes. I mean, babies are a blessing, but that's if you can take care of them and make their lives good. You're not doing that. You're just having them, but you're not blessing them with a good life. You get me? So my concern is for them. But when you keep telling me life is good, everything is good, but you don't have your children, they're in defects, you see them once a week, you got two battery cases in front of me, that's not a good life. And, and Mr. Taylor can't tell me, but something must be going on. When was the last time you had a job, ma'am? Yes, ma'am. I'm on. I'm taking online classes at Southern New Hampshire University. I'm a I, I, you okay? You saying what now? I'm a student online at Southern New Hampshire University. Okay, ma'am. I've been a student in person and still had a job. Okay. When was the last time you had a job? Stop telling me what you think sounds good and talk to me straight up. When was the last time you had a job? I work for myself. I'm self what are you doing? I do hair. On the side. You do what? I do hair um, sometimes. What you do to it? Um, I do braiding, sometimes washing sets. I mobily travel to the clients or they come over. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma so you're a kitchen beautician? No. Do you have a certificate? Do you have a license? I have my did you say license? Yes, yes ma'am. Beautician's license. license. No, it's not license. So you're a kitchen beautician? No. No, ma'am. What do you mean, no, ma'am? If you don't have a licensed cosmetologist, if you're not a licensed cosmetologist or beautician, then you just catching this catch can. Okay, last time I had a job was about uh, four months ago. What were you doing? I was um, working at Subway. At what? At Subway and Carabas. Server okay. and Carabas. Okay, so you're going to go back to fast food? Um, more than likely. Um, just something like until I finish school. Miss Miss Johnson, yes. what you what you taking in school? Teacher education. Miss Johnson, I'm gonna tell you right now, with this record, that's gonna be hard for you to get into a school. You you got battery cases, ma'am. What you need to do is go back to school and get you a hairdresser's license so you can go ahead and do somebody's hair. And at least that'll be money coming in. You can work for um, anybody who has a shop open or a chair open and you can run your business. 
this I'm doing teaching education at Southern New Hampshire. You, first of all, those programs are expensive. So I'm wondering where you're getting the money for online education. Second of all, you're telling me what you think makes it sound good, but you are 34 with seven kids and your kids are in foster care. I'm going to need you to get on the thing that's going to bring some money in as quickly as possible. Yes, ma'am. Otherwise, it doesn't sound like you plan to reunite with your children. Yes, ma'am. When I say, are you on a reunification plan with defects and you tell me the office is closed, no, ma'am. We clear? Yes, ma'am. Clear. All right. Um, but so on the case two zero ending in zero seven seven zero two, twelve months probation, forty hours of community service, a fine in the amount of three hundred dollars that will be suspended because she don't have the money. Um, anger management and no contact with Sonia Clayton. If she has been having visitation, that's gonna end her visitation. Are we clear? Do are y'all aware of that? Had y'all thought about that? Uh, we spoke about that, Your Honor, and she had been arranging visitation through her mother. She wasn't I get arranging through her mother, but if DFAC says these children can't leave Sonia's care, then she can't see her children. Unless her mother has the right to get the kids and supervise um, visitation. Y'all got to think through these things. If her mama doesn't have the right to take the kids out of the care of the foster person, then she won't be able to see her kids. Yes, Your Honor. You understand that? Yes. Okay. And the other thing um, to run concurrent with 2024CR09340, 12 months, 30 days, Balance um, probated for you to take an anger management class. It's the same class. You'll have to take it again. A $500 fine suspended, 40 hours of community service, and no violent or harassing contact with Michael Wilson. Now, who um, who's your mom? Her name is Georgia Johnson. And you're going to be able to go live with her? Yes. Okay. Um, Miss Miss Johnson, you you got to get yourself straight. I don't know if it's a, I don't know if it's alcohol, drugs, but something is keeping you from having the life that you need to have. But I beg you, I beg you, ma'am, don't go get pregnant again. How old is your youngest child? He's three. Don't go 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. Ma'am, don't go get pregnant again. None of these babies have had time with you to to have the amount of nurturing that a mama is supposed to give. Ne not one of them. Not one of them has spent a whole year being nurtured before you have another baby. Not one. Not one of these babies. Please don't have no more children. And I don't care if people say it's bad. I don't care what people say. Don't have any more children that you can't take care of. Are we clear? You can have all the sex you want as long as it comes with a condom or some way to prevent you from making another baby. Are we clear? Because yeah. I'm not convinced that you're not doing some form of sex work. We got seven kids and no man is involved in their lives. None at all. Think about what you're doing, Miss Johnson. Okay. All right. Um, you can go back with the sheriff's office. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Your Honor.